yes so here the new topic that is your hydrogen and water beta so actually hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table okay having atomic number one okay or you can also understand that only one electron there will be in the outermost shell okay hydrogen uh, if i would like to tell you one thing that a hydrogen is independent of periodic table you know why because that periodic table is totally based either with respect to those elements which would like to donate electrons okay okay or lose electrons or either the elements which would like to accept electron okay but with respect to hydrogen okay if it would like to donate one electron so it would be identical okay, okay. otherwise it would like to accept one electron okay in order to get the stable electronic configuration to its nearest noble gas helium okay for a kind information each and every element in the periodic table that have the uh, that have the characteristic or that have the type of tendency to attain the stable electronic configuration to their nearest noble gas understand okay understand wait yeah. Uh, yeah. let me take my charger give me one second So that means here, beta. In this topic, that we will study about hydrogen and and water. As usual, that uh, in your previous classes, also I explained that to you the common factor. That means when hydrogen and oxygen will combine together, then they form water. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, you can also understand. Means as usual, you know that hydrogen that is element, oxygen that is also element. Okay. Or uh, indirectly. Also understand that they both are gases. Okay. Okay. So fundamental thing is that hydrogen and water. So that means hydrogen is element, oxygen is element. So when these two elements would like to combine, then they form water. Okay. Okay. So and hydrogen of uh, having one electron in the outermost cell. That's why that uh, it would like to be placed. uh in uh, first group okay uh, as usual i explained that to you just before that it is independent of periodic table but of having one electron in the outermost cell it would like to have the property of electro positive okay okay because it can it can lose one electron and also that it have the property of electronegativity that means it can accept one electron okay but most most probably that it would like to lose electron okay so as it would like to combine with other element to form covalent compound covalent compound it is forming so that means uh, there will be covalent bond also okay okay understand yeah okay great so let's uh, come down let's see that uh, what is given downwards let me scroll so fundamentally you have to understand that metals react with acid at different rates okay depending on how reactive the metals are okay, okay. hydrogen can be produced from acid when they react with metal okay, okay. so you can understand means one thing that they are explaining here uh, wait just see on a screen so here one fundamental thing they are saying that hydrogen can be produced from the acid when metal react with acid okay so here you can see that metal oh yeah you are able to see that red pen um yeah uh, i think that it is not too visible give me one second yep so that means metal metal plus acid that will give you uh, means uh, yes in that way that uh, uh, yes sometimes that it would like to give like salt salt plus hydrogen okay 
you can understand that reaction suppose that metal like sodium na plus acid that is scl okay and uh, when they will react so clearly you can understand over here that uh, here is na that is electropositive okay hydrogen that is also electropositive chlorine that is electronegative and i explain that to you that electropositive and electronegative that will combine clear so that yeah. means na and cl will combine to form nacl okay and also that i explained that to you in your previous classes that nacl that is your salt okay a common salt plus hydrogen will be there that is h2 do you understand it yeah great so now come to downwards yep the same thing that you are seeing over here so that means metal it is important over here metal plus acid that will give you salt plus hydrogen yeah you can see that i learned the property that why that without seeing that that's why that without seeing that i was able to explain that to you so that means here metal plus acid that will give you salt and hydrogen it is the good way to remember that means uh, there is a short way that is mash okay m plus a gives you s plus h that means m for metal a for acid that will give you s for salt and h for hydrogen clear yeah so the keyword that uh, which you can see here that is your this one yes it's a keyword to learn that suppose that if you are not able to understand or not able to learn the whole uh, reaction okay so in that condition you can learn mass so it's the fundamental property of metal when metal will react with acid to form salt and hydrogen okay the name of the salt that depends on the name of acid okay name of acid suppose that magnesium plus hydrochloric acid okay so magnesium that is your mg hydrochloric acid that is hcl so here you can see that mg uh, wait here you can see that mg that is electropositive plus h electropositive and cl electronegative so positive and negative will combine together okay and then they will form mgcl2 how they are forming mgcl2 just see here mg and cl mg having valency plus 2 having two electron in the outermost cell chlorine having seven electron in the outermost cell so it cannot lose any electron why because it is not possible to lose seven electrons okay in spite of losing seven electron it always accept one electron so as it is accepting electron so there will be valency minus 1 okay? okay now most important thing as i explained in your previous classes that means criss cross this and this so mg ones are mg and cl twos are cl2 okay so it is your magnesium chloride okay? okay so that's why here will be mg that's why you are seeing that mg cl2 and plus remaining there is 2h plus so that's why that here will be hydrogen so it is the best way to understand that when metal will react when metal will react with uh, acid to give salt and hydrogen clear Yeah. so other reaction also you are seeing that in the same way in the same way because whatever i will explain you it is not possible that it will fail in any book content or any topic regarding to chemical reaction why because my teacher explain me fundamental concept what zn that is metal electropositive will be okay hydrogen is also electropositive sulfate it is iron electronegative okay so plus and minus will combine again you just have to understand that how they are getting znso4 so zn you can write here sulfate ion that will be also here zn valency plus 2 having two electron in the outermost cell okay one more important thing that you have to learn valency specifically okay okay yes so and if you want to learn valency so i can tell you a trick you just have if you would like to learn that in which order or period they are okay suppose that you can see that a zinc that is in second group element it's a second group element so second group element that means having two electron in the outermost cell 
third group period having three electron in the outermost cell fourth group element having four electron in the outermost cell fifth group element okay having five sixth group six seventh group seven eighth group complete shell okay understand yeah. Yeah. that means from one two three okay if any element having one two three electron in the outermost cell then it will lose electron okay okay lose so if it will lose electron so it will form electropositive ion okay lose positive ion okay yeah yeah and also from and fourth the element having four electrons in the outermost cell it can neither lose neither gain okay okay neither lose sorry yes can it can neither neither lose nor gain okay yeah and then after then beta next is your 5 6 7 8 so here will be 5 here 6 here 7 okay so you can see that these three miss elements having 1 2 3 electron in the outermost cell they would like to lose electrons and 4 will not lose electron or not accept or not uh, yeah four that will neither lose nor gain or accept but elements having five electron six electron seven electron they will receive okay okay so when they will receive so that's why they will form negative ion okay negative okay. ions understand yeah yeah so that means here you are seeing that zn plus so4 so here beta with respect to zn Plus two sulfate valency is minus two. Okay, so again the same process that you have to apply over here. That means Z and Chris cross. Okay, so here you can see that plus two and minus two they will cancel each other and your formula will be Z and SO4. Okay. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand it. Great. And uh, in more reactive. the metal the faster will be the reaction yes we can take example of sodium okay means means what they are explaining is how much will be the element will be reactive okay regarding to that its reactivity that will be greater so that its reaction will also be greater okay yeah so that means it will take less time to react clear yeah understand yeah hello yeah i'm here i'm here i'm yeah. thinking about yes and also how your aluminum has a protective oxide layer so it reacts slowly with acid to begin with okay okay do you understand yeah great I'm sharing a screen, but oh, sorry, I'm refreshing that. Give me one second. Yep, and now change the page. Do you understand, beta? What I had explained in your first page? Yeah. Very good. Now, next is combustion of hydrogen. Combustion of hydrogen. That means a hydrogen burns in oxygen to form water. Okay. Okay. Ox hydrogen burns in oxygen to form water. So that means what we have to understand, or indirectly you can understand that hydrogen plus water, oxygen that will give you water. Clear? Yeah. Or you can also understand 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O. Always remember. that your previous one that means a hydrogen plus oxygen that gives you water okay yeah. and it is your word word equation okay mm -hmm. and when you would like to write your chemical equation with respect to symbols then that will be your chemical equation it is okay mm -hmm. 
the flame of the flame that is almost colorless mixture of hydrogen and oxygen okay that can be explosive okay when the two okay. gases are present in a particular ratio okay so yeah. that that's why that because it may be explosive that's why that uh, maximum uh, we have to take precaution and also in precaution that uh, we just have to handle hydrogen very carefully okay that's yeah. why that uh, i think uh, i think that you had heard that few uh, few days before that uh, north korea uh, they develop hydrogen bomb okay yeah. and yes and which is 100 times <laughs> more effective than nuclear bomb you know yeah. yes that's why each and every country that is horrified horrible of that one because you know that if one medium size hydrogen bomb that would like to explode in mexico then almost north america will be finished yes there will be a type of disaster that will came there and yeah. within yeah within few second means not in second within few minutes or within one or two hour the whole america that will be means lonely place there will be nothing no civilization that will be find there oh. only civilization it may be possible that uh, whatever submarine or whatever uh, whatever type of equipment or whatever peoples that will be inside water above up to means uh, up to half uh, means uh, 400 meter or 500 meter so okay. the worst problem was the bomb like fails and lands to like because it's like war between america and north korea so would it like what if it fails what will happen to the bomb no 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 means it is not possible to defuse bomb you know it is mm. not possible even not possible for america america knows many technology america know many technology to defuse bombs but actually hydrogen bomb and it's a technology that is totally different of nuclear bomb okay so america have a capacity uh, to defuse nuclear bomb but they don't know about how to defuse hydrogen bomb have they launched the bomb yet no 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 they didn't launch that but uh, uh, the president of north korea always used to miss gives us type of statement just to horrify america and i mean oh, president yeah so king king don't no 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 i think that almost that it will not happen but suppose that why okay. why he generally why the president of north korea they generally used to uh, he generally used to give trouble in their statement okay is is in the present i think it's the king of uh, north korea king. yeah king of north korea i think that that uh, uh, means uh, give me a second what was that name i mean i am not remembering at this time kim, kim jong kim jong yeah kim jong so that you know that there is a rule in north america sorry in north korea that no one uh, people yeah. person they can uh, give their offspring uh, name as kim jong you know no 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 here in here in uh, india suppose that uh, president's name is uh, means prime minister name is means narendra modi okay so that means uh, everyone anyone that uh, they can uh, anyone can uh, uh, name their child as narendra okay yeah or the whole name that is narendra modi okay yeah. they have weird rules like they're not you're not allowed to watch like american stuff you can't like go to american stuff like that no and also that in 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 north korea it is not possible to have a uh, miss uh, a name just like as kim jong if you will if you will if you'll uh, miss uh, name your child on the name of uh, miss president so it may be possible that you will kept in jail for till life i think you get sent to uh, relent concentration camps of some delaga 
I think so means I am not uh, sure about that one. But fundamental thing is that, and also that each and every person, ha- each and every person is advised to keep their hair style just like as Kim yeah, Jong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. Yeah, the means uh, such type of means these type of activities are totally disgusting. <laughs> Means yes. uh, and and there is a, there is a nothing like democracy in North or South America. Yes. No means specifically in North America. Yes. Yeah, yes North yes. Korea, sorry. They following Hitler's rules. They following what? Uh, you know, in Germany in World War One, they following uh, Hitler. The rules. So they, Hitler used to do that as well. Yes, 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 yes. Hitler, yeah. He also used to do the same type of for means. Uh, Conditions and same type of means, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What uh, we can say that uh, what? Oh uh, no, it, it's called democracy. No, 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 democracy. That means you will be, you are free to say anything. You oh, are dictatorship. dictatorship. Yeah, dictatorship. That is yeah. So Hitler was a dictator. Yes. So that yeah. is whatever he is thinking about the peoples of his country. So he generally used to give command regarding to that one. So no one, no one will be able to think about their welfare. No. It's elements so like using the nuclear bomb. Uh, yes, and uh, most important thing is that uh, uh, around the world, uh, almost uh, none of the scientists they know that what are the main composition of that one and how to make that, or how okay. they make that. <laughs> In spite of, um, uh, yeah, because that uh, what type of uh, means material each and every country scientists know that, but how they are composing that, which and uh, in which way, in which ratio, each and every element or each and every product that is combining so that it would like to create a such type of destructive energy. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, that's why that every person or uh, with respect to. Uh, all the scientists surrounding the world, they are, they don't know about how to diffuse that. Otherwise, they suppose that if you would like to be able to understand that how much energy it would like to produce, so 100% that you will uh, get such type of idea. Okay, so that uh, how you can diffuse that, just like a nuclear bomb. Yes. Yeah. Yes, means nuclear bomb. There is one thing that a nuclear bomb is not so destructive. Suppose that a medium-sized nuclear bomb would like to explode in Mexico, so almost that one third of America that will, one third of America that will destruct. Okay, but suppose that hydrogen bomb. Oh my God! Almost 98%, 95% whole America that will what? ruined. Yes. So is it like a bomb that can like destroy the whole world? No, not a whole. What means I am talking about America? So that means a whole North America that will be 95% finish. Oh. 5% I am talking about because that all those creatures, all those persons, all those peoples who would like to be inside uh, means uh, down in the water, okay, or in submarine, or in ship, a cargo ship, or whatever there will be, okay. So oh. that means the impact of that bomb that would not like to reach up to that level. That's why that they will remain there. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, because that is related to chemistry. That's why that I was explaining through that one. But now come to the topic. So the yeah. flame that is almost colorless mixture of hydrogen and oxygen can be explosive when the two ga- uh, gases are present particular ratio. So hydrogen must be handled carefully because that is totally explosive and totally. Means, uh, means it's a uh, it's a type of component having a large amount of energy in it. Many people believe that be- because no carbon dioxide is released when it burns. Yes. Okay. Each and every type of component. Means uh, scientist also believes. I uh, somewhere that I also uh, heard and I also read out there that uh, every type of component, if it would like to burn in air, so 100% it would like to release a little bit amount of carbon dioxide over there. Okay. Yeah, that it, it should like release some type of gas. Yeah, that's right. And also one more important thing that uh, can you tell me that uh, how do you like to consider that uh, either your produced gas is carbon dioxide or not? Uh, if it's uh, if you see like smoke or something. No, 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 no. Oh my God! Uh, you beta always each and every class. You just have to see your videos, okay? 
in each and every video i generally use to explain that what are the main thing which you have to remember with respect to each and every concept here beta if any gas is given okay or if any gas is producing so how will you consider that your gas is carbon dioxide the main thing is that if you would like to pass that gas through lime water so it oh, would yeah. like to turn lime water milky now you remember i explained that that to you yeah 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 Yes, that's why I'm saying that, beta. Please, just how would you get a, how would you get the gas in one place? Gas? What gas? Carbon dioxide. Like how would you like uh, put it in one in lime water? Just pour it in. Something. I I, th I think that uh, there are many. I I don't know about the page number, but here that uh, there are many chapters in any of the chapter. Okay, actually, uh, lime water. Okay, lime water. That means it just like as means. I think lime water. You know that lime yeah, water. Yeah, it becomes yeah. It becomes transparent. Okay. Yeah. So when you would like to produce carbon dioxide gas, then there will be there, then you can see clearly bubbles inside that okay. lime water. Okay. And yeah. then after some time, so okay, it would like to it would like to change its uh, color from transparent to milky. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now that is the way that by which you will be able to understand that whatever gas that you are releasing that is a carbon dioxide. Okay. Okay. Yes. One more important thing that I think that uh, you remember that in your previous classes also I explained that to you that uh, suppose that carbon and oxygen will combine. Fundamentally, you know that carbon and oxygen that will combine to give what uh, carbon dioxide. Okay. Carbon dioxide. Yeah. But also I am saying that carbon and oxygen will combine to give carbon monoxide. Oh yeah. yeah. So can you tell me yeah can you tell me that what will be the situation when it will produce carbon monoxide oh i remember just a point when there will be okay just think about that Wait. when there will be Limited amount of oxygen. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. When there will be limited amount of oxygen. Wait. You can understand that in this way. I'm writing that uh, equation. See on your screen. Yeah. So here, basically, you have to understand that when carbon react with oxygen, O2. And uh, it will produce CO, carbon monoxide. On the other side, that C plus O2, that will produce CO2. Okay, what is the difference between these two equations? So the difference is that. Oh, the so, uh, is yes. it that because uh, carbon monoxide has one uh, oxygen? And no, it's a limited. Okay, yeah, when yeah. there will be limited supply of oxygen. Okay, that will react with carbon, so it will produce carbon monoxide. Okay. Carbon dioxide has two oxygens. Carbon monoxide. Yeah, I can remember. Yeah. Yeah, oxide. And when there will be excess amount of, okay. Yeah, the yeah, excess. Excess amount of oxygen, then it will produce carbon dioxide. Okay. Yeah. Understand, brother? Yes. Yeah, and also here, hydro. Uh, yes, uh, it burns. Uh, wait, uh, many people believe that because no carbon dioxide is released when it burns. Uh, give me one second, please. Hello. I'm studying. You talk to your sister about the phone. Yeah, give me one second. अरे सुनो अरे सुनो देखो भी किस बात को जल्दी से so next is do you understand this one yeah i understand that 
yes so that means that a hydrogen could be a clean fuel to use in future yeah so that means to replace fossil fuels that are the that are causing global warming okay actually global warming that means different type of human activity okay global warming that means different type of human activity that would like to increase the temperature of atmosphere you know yeah yeah and when the temperature of atmosphere uh, different type of activity that means basically that means a, a rocket propulsion and uh, means when rocket would like to uh, uh, propulse it in regarding to that one that uh, there becomes a big hole that would like to create in ozone layer as usually you know that ozone layer that is a protective layer with respect to uv okay means yes. ultraviolet rays okay mm -hmm. of sun so, so does it like uh, affect the climate change stuff like that? Yes, yes, yes. You know that, Shan. Uh, here in India, it is approximately 10 or 11 of October, but there is a not a single, single means day when we feel a little bit cold here. Okay, two or three yeah. years bef before, then in October there becomes means a heavy cold that starts here in India. But it is the change in weather and also global warming. That's why that now we okay. are waiting for cold so that yeah. when cold will come, then we will enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we will enjoy that. Yes, because that in that condition that we don't have to operate means fans, ACs and all that. Yeah, mm. but basically that you can see that here now AC is running. Yes, in October. So it's possible to feel like when, uh, when you like burn coal, coal and oil. Yes, means suppose that means when you would like to do such type of activity which would like to increase the temperature of atmosphere. So where that energy would like to go? It it's energy that would like to absorb by different matter. Okay, some energy or the as usually you know that the sun is the main source of energy. So that yeah. means what will happen? So that means it's energy that would like to, when it's energy would like to come on earth. So as usual that before coming on earth, it would like to pass through that ozone holes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means from that reason, okay, from that area, me suppose that from holes. Okay. Yeah, you can see that. Suppose that there it is, uh, it is your earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And over there, there is a little bit means ozone layer just above. Okay. Yeah around it okay so when yeah. there will be a type of hole okay that would like to create after human activities okay just like as dot rocket propulsion and different type of so suppose that there will be a little bit of hole over there like this okay and as usually you know that our sun is just outside so here like big one very very big one okay so when its light would like to pass through those holes okay it's a uh, wait, 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 like this yep so all the all the size here so here you can see that whatever light would like to pass through these holes okay and what area that would like that will be affected with this so here with respect to this reason there will be maximum means on other side that you can see that it would like to reflect okay uv rays okay yeah in that way but here you can see that of creating such type of hole so here you can see that there will be maximum impact of that energy over this reason okay okay so i just want to ask a question you're like people that live near the equator would the temperature be hot or cold now? Where? In which, in which country? Uh, people that live near the equator. Equator? Uh, yes. So, equator, there is a cold, beta. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Equator. I think that there will be cold because there will be, there is a, there, there becomes ice. Okay, there is ice. And the days would like to be six, uh, six months for day and six months for night. Uh, what if they like? near the equator because isn't that like part of a, like countries around it wouldn't they have like a normal weather because it's like in the sun and it's like in the cold actually so i think that in your previous class that uh, when i was explaining about atmosphere and surrounding then i explained that to you that uh, the uh, changing of weather is totally depend on the uh, on the 
tilt of uh, axis earth. of earth yes okay earth tilt yeah tilt okay. on axis yes because that also that you remember that type of me suppose that in in between there becomes uh, means uh, uh, sun and our earth would like to rotate like here okay so it is your axis of symmetry okay so when it would like to be here so i think that you remember that uh, such type of uh, uh, miss figure that uh, i think a little bit you can remember when it would like to be here so you can see that it's a uh, axis that would like to be close to sun or not yeah yeah i don't know yeah so it'll be summer okay and when when this earth would like to be round half turn and it would like to be over here so now you can see that it's axis that would like to be a little bit away from the sun or not yeah so that's why here will be winter okay okay yeah clear so yeah. yes yes uh, in your previous class i explained that when there was a chapter like means uh, earth and its surrounding so basically what i mean to explain you that different activities that would like to lead to increase the temperature of atmosphere and when all the all the components surrounding to us like lake water air okay they would like to absorb all the light that is all the energy that is coming from the sun okay and then it would like to increase the temperature okay whatever light that uh, uh at most uh, means whatever light me suppose that when the light would like uh, when the sun's light that would like to come on earth so whatever light that uh, whatever light or energy that would like to absorb by sea or ocean okay then due to high tides low tides okay as usual that you know that uh, in 24 hours okay uh, one time there will be high tide one time there will be low tide okay so in this uh, 24 hour occasion okay a large amount of energy that uh, and then also that um, uh, when a uh, sun's energy that would like to come on uh, earth and it would like to be in uh, ocean so the ocean water that would like to uh, heat or not yeah and when it would like to heat its temperature would like to increase and then in the whole 24 hours okay especially at daytime okay then the water would like to evaporate or not yeah so our simple factor is that when it would like to evaporate then also that energy would like to come into atmosphere and it will increase the uh, it will increase the temperature of atmosphere hmm? yeah so 100 percent that is known as global warming okay yeah and global warming is a type of cause which would like to prevent the natural occurrence okay yeah yes it is just like as condition suppose that if your water you know that your water boils 100 degrees centigrade okay, okay. <laughs> but suppose that if you would like to mix a little bit amount of sugar in that one so what will happen um, uh, i don't know what <laughs> okay okay no problem means suppose that uh yeah two condition that i am telling you in first condition that i am telling you that uh, you know that the boiling point of water that is 100 degrees centigrade okay if you would like to mix sugar in water so what will happen so while mixing sugar in water it will increase the boiling point of sugar uh, uh, water you know oh yes because because sugar is just like as impurity with respect to water okay and always remember that if there is any substance okay if there is any substance and other substance you are mixing in that substance so 100 percent that other substance that will be just like as impurity and it would like to increase the boiling point or melting point of first substance clear yeah understand yeah you can also understand this event in this way suppose that your mom is in kitchen okay okay she is she tends i mean suppose and then uh, instantly that your fa father came okay today your father came a little bit before okay from their office okay so uh, in that condition your mom would like to welcome him and then she would like to say that okay just take rest i am going to prepare tea okay, okay. and then she would like to go to kitchen and then she will uh, take up she will take a pan and a amount of water and she would like to put that on uh, gas okay and then lit the gas she will lit the gas and after few times after two or three minutes or four minutes that 
okay firstly there is only water okay then water starts to boil okay yeah then she would like to she would like to uh, miss add a little bit amount of miss sugar okay and uh, tea leaves okay sugar okay. tea leaves okay in that one so as soon as she will add a little bit amount of tea leaves and sugar in that boiling water 100% boiling of water will stop okay, okay. Yeah. yes water will be hot okay but then its temperature would like to decrease why because that if there is a water and water is boiling and if you are adding sugar tea leaves and other component in that one so it would like to increase the boiling point okay so okay. that means so that means after adding sugar or tea leaves its temperature would like to decrease so that yeah. means now I mean suppose that before it is taking 3 minute to boil now after adding sugar tea leaves okay it would like to take 5 minute to boil again okay 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 relax suppose that now again that your water is boiling okay your water uh, means water on gas uh, mixture of water tea leaves and sugar okay now again okay. it is boiling yeah. then a little bit ginger uh, then a little bit ginger suppose that you will add in that one then again a little boiling of mixture that will stop for a few seconds okay yeah. why because ginger will also be a type of impurity with respect to that mixture okay yeah. at the last at the last and when that and and when again that will boil okay then what you have to do that the main component of tea that is your milk okay so again mm -hmm. suppose that your mixture is boiling and if you will add amount of milk a little bit amount of milk in your mixture so what will happen then the boiling of that uh, black tea that will stop yeah fundamental fact is that because of change in temperature okay mm -hmm. suppose that change in temperature okay or otherwise the other reason is also there because with respect to mixture milk is a type of impurity which would like to increase boiling point okay Yeah. so that means again it would like to take a little bit time to reach up to 100 degree centigrade for that mixture means that means you here i want to explain you one thing suppose that in starting that you had taken a miss pure water okay okay yeah or drinking water that's temperature that's boiling point that is 100 degree centigrade okay but when you when your tea is boiling if you would like to see that then its the temperature would like to be little bit more yeah yes so suppose that its a miss water's boiling point that is 100 degree centigrade then uh, your tea is boiling point that will be of 105 degree centigrade or 110 degree centigrade yes okay do you understand that yeah great now i'm going to uh hold on i'm going to refresh that beta so that uh, the third and last page that we can do that yep and uh, let's uh, yes beta each and everything that you have to revise after your class beta okay that's why for all of your facility that i used to upload classes on my channel beta okay yes and wait here yeah, i'm here and then here next is like copper sulfate test for water so here beta testing in this uh, page that they are explaining copper sulfate copper to sulfate that means it is also known as cuprous sulfate okay yeah or uh, you, you can also you can also uh, say that it is your anhydrous copper sulfate okay Okay. why it is known as in anhydrous because there will be no molecule of water in that one each and everything which you are seeing surrounding to you everything that contains a little bit amount of water in that one either it may be that a micro quantity okay but there will be 100% okay if you yeah. are seeing that any any object that is dry looking okay but it doesn't mean that is totally dry no 
there will be a little bit amount of water either in micro stage or in micro quantity but there will be okay okay so that means what so and hydrous that means there will be no water okay or there will be absence of water when water is present in a sim sample of carbon to sulfate it turns blue yeah as usual that you know that in many of in many times that i explain that you copper sulfate that becomes blue in color okay yeah. it is still a dry solid okay yeah. because the individual water molecules are trapped within the ionic lactic okay surrounding to the copper two ions solutions of carbon copper sulfate are also blue okay yes because it means a little bit a amount of water that you are adding in that one so that means a reactant that is blue in color and water is colorless so it may be possible that the intense color of copper sulfate that will be a little bit uh, less blue then it's a reactant but after all means final product that will be red in color okay that's why that uh, after uh, reaction you can see that when what i mean when uh, an hydrous copper sulfate will react with water then hydrated copper sulfate that you will get there why i am saying that hydrated copper sulfate because there will be a little bit amount of water in that one of course that you are mixing water in that so there will be a number of molecules of water in there or not yeah great so it's a equation whatever you are seeing over here it's a very 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 important beta okay yep okay. sorry yeah this one it is very important very important it can come in your test okay and also cobalt to chloride cocl2 test so water can also be detected using blue and hydrous cobalt chloride and hydrous that the same meaning over here also okay thus this turned pink in the presence of water okay yes do you understand that yes so i think that uh, there are 10 questions beta i hope you understand this these three pages so a little yeah. bit just try to solve them okay and let's see that what's your performance so come to here your first question is here yes what gas is produced when a metal react with acid uh, hydrogen great What salt is produced produced when zinc react with nitric acid? Zinc uh, and nitric acid. They are saying. Zinc nitric. Yes, your answer is perfectly right. Because chloride will be when chlorine react with sulfate. That when sulfate will react. So here is zinc nitrate. Why does aluminium react quite slowly with dilute hydrochloric acid? Okay. It is not very reactive. Dilute yeah, yeah. acid is a weak acid or aluminium is coated with a protective oxide layer. It is not very reactive. Okay that's great What is produced when hydrogen react with oxygen What are Yes water okay When using an hydrous copper sulfate to test for water what color change is seen They are saying that when using an hydrous copper sulfate test for water, so that means on one side there is an hydrous copper sulfate, another side water. So they are saying that what color change is seen? Blue uh, to pink, what? blue to white, or white to blue? White to blue. Great. Why? Because that solution means your solu uh, solvent that is your water. Water is white or water is transparent. and when copper sulfate will add to it then its color is blue so it will change into blue okay yeah next is which of these shows the correct balance symbol equation for the combustion of hydrogen combustion that means when hydrogen will react with oxygen then it will form water so which reaction is your perfect 
2H2O. Yeah, fantastic. That's right. Which of the following is a potential source of hydrogen to use as a fuel? Uh, electrolyzing water. Okay. What is the product of the of this reaction? What will be the product of this reaction? Mg plus 2HCl that will give you what? Okay. That is metal plus acid. Oh, I think it's MgCl2 plus H2. Fantastic, beta. Your answer is right. Why? Acid means metal plus acid that will give you salt and hydrogen. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yes. Yeah. And also, beta, Mg is positive, Cl is negative, MgCl2 and H will be there, so it will be as two. Which re what reactant would you use to produce calcium sulfate and hydrogen in reaction? I think it's uh, calcium oxide plus so acid. Okay, great. So, what reactant would you use to produce MgNO3 whole twice and hydrogen? So, it is it is salt and hydrogen. So, that means uh, your reactant should be metal and acid. Okay. Mg3 plus 2HCl. I'm not, I'm not sure, sure about this. Beta, why you always remember that when there will be carbonate, okay, as yes, reactant, so the, yeah, Mg plus 2 yes. HNO3, that will be, let's check your score, and let's see that, how many questions, wow, great, 8 questions that you get right over there. And why does aluminium react quite slowly with dilute hydrochloric acid, beta? Okay. Oh, yes. So, it is very reactive element, beta. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. And also, the other one that is wrong. Yes. Here, beta, calcium plus sulfuric acid will be, you know. Because yeah. that when you are getting as a product salt and hydrogen, so that means... The reactant will be metal and acid. Understand? Yeah. So, thanks for today, Mita. Have a great time. I will uh, upload this class within a few hours. Okay? Mm -hmm. And yeah. you just have to revise this one and try to learn that one. Thanks for today. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you.